Hey, thanks for the comment. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, um, street sweepers, uh, you're inaccurate. I love these guys who think they know the car business. But uh, there are reasons um, that any business, but definitely the car business, uh, will entice a client to make a decision on the last day of the month or year, for instance. Um, yes, I, you know, all of the customer reasons, incentives, rates, trade values may change, all that good stuff. You know, that's a possibility. But uh, from an internal business standpoint, there's also reasons why we might make a deal one day and not the very next day. For instance, Mitsubishi gives us an objective of volume that we have to sell every month. And if we hit 125 or 150 percent of that objective, uh, there's a, a financial turn that happens in our favor there for selling a higher percentage of our objective. So um, literally, it could be thousands of dollars from the manufacturer if I sell 40 cars instead of, you know, 39 cars. So I may be willing to make a deal with a customer that doesn't make sense the next day, but it did on the last day of the month. Um, you know, also, if you're a store that tries to take care of your sales associates, uh, a guy may be one car away from some sort of volume bonus. Uh, maybe he's sitting at 14 and at 15 he gets, you know, uh, a volume incentive from the dealership and we want to see him hit that. So, you know, him and his family are well taken care of and, um, you know, he's happy with his financial output for that month as well. So I might make a deal on the end of the month that I won't make on the first because on the end of the month it, it would have helped him reach a goal. So, you know, uh, again, there's a lot of reasons internally to make a car deal on the end of the month as opposed to the first of the very next month um, that have nothing to do with um, financing promos and all that good stuff. But uh, I do appreciate the comment. But yeah, there's a little bit more to it sometimes than people really realize. So.